but it's a, a wonderful Friday morning opportunity uh, for us to be able to celebrate the wonderful accomplishments of our fourth grade orchestra. Um, so we have around 140 performers, which is amazing and exciting, and we are lucky to be able to have the rest of the fourth grade here to be able to, to give them your attention and give them your respect. So we want to make sure that you're being a respectful audience. Um, and so they're going to perform a number of different music uh, things for you guys. You guys can come all the way down. You guys can come. We got front row seats for you. Uh, oh, right there. Sorry, third row seats. Sorry, right there. Um, so we have a full house, both of instruments and students. Um, and I'm going to hand it over. But before I hand it over to the orchestra teachers, um, I'd like to give them a round of applause. So for Ms. Clemens, Ms. Jakes, and Ms. Garrett, let's give them all a round of applause. performers. All right. So again, let's be a courteous audience, a respectful audience. I'm going to hand it off. I'm sorry. Sure. Hi, I'm beginning the concert actually with the beginners who are here um, in front of the stage with me. These are students who just started their uh, string instrument journey in uh, the beginning of the fourth grade. And we're going to be starting with a warm up called Up and Down the D String. steady beat as a group and it also helps um, warm up our finger placement for our D string notes which we are about to use in our first song which is Hot Cross Buns. straight through for you. What we're going to do is demonstrate our learning on the patterns in this song. So you're going to hear different parts of Frere Jaca and we're going to do it copycat style. So I'll play the pattern and then the group is going to play it back to me. So you're going to hear patterns from the song Frere Jaca. Thank you. 
um, those patterns that you just heard, plus the song we're about to play, which is Twinkle, are both previews of what you're gonna hear the larger group play with the bow in a few minutes. But for now, this is the beginners um, doing a technique called pizzicato, which is plucking on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little program that the beginners did. And as Ms. Clemens said, um, they are playing parts of songs, plucking as a little preview, some of the songs, to what we're actually going to be doing in this, by the way, did you notice, giant orchestra. <laughs> Raise your hand, everybody, if you're impressed by just the mere size of the group. There you go. You know what? It's funny. I think it's something like 50% of the grade is performing and something like 50% is watching. It's our biggest group ever that we've ever had in the fourth grade. Well, we have a lovely program for you, which includes a couple of warm-ups. I don't think we'll do too many warm-ups today. But the first piece that we're going to play is called um, the D, uh, D scale. Yeah, D scale. And uh, we'll warm up our bow by doing what we often call copycat, meaning uh, they, they did it in the beginning class and we're going to do it in our class. It gets us together and warmed up. Teacher plays, students copy.
was our D scale. And I'm sure at the first sound of everyone playing tennis, you'd be, whoa, what a huge sound. This happens to be a fantastic auditorium. Um, even professionals like to play here. And uh, we certainly have filled it up. Um, and now we're going to actually play our first song for you, which is a version of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Um, and I think you'll hear some beautiful harmonies. And if you listen, you'll also hear a solo. forget how proud we all are of um, this particular group of fourth graders. Um, we've worked super hard all year. Our lessons have been very spaced out. Sometimes we've had to, not the lessons themselves, but sometimes there's been two weeks between lessons. And everyone has worked so hard to pull it together to learn this program. I think they sound absolutely amazing. So we're good. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go on now and play one of my favorite songs. As a matter of fact, I wrote this arrangement. This piece is called Old MacDonald Had a Bow. E-I-E-I-O. -E <laughs> and with this bow, she played a G. E-I-E-I-O. With a GG here, a GG there, here a G, there a G, everywhere a GG. Old MacDonald had a bow. Yeah, yeah. 
And um, certainly you wouldn't have wanted me to sing that, I'm telling you. Okay. And what you will hear, you'll hear the melody played with a few harmonies. And then section by section, each, there are many, many Gs that take place in many, many octaves. Any of you who play the piano know that. There's so many, every note has many, many versions of it from high to low. So I want you to notice that we start with the highest note and each section gets one octave lower until, let's see what happens at the end, and we all come together. Thank you. together with an introduction. The second time we're going to divide into two parts, which is a round, where the violins and violas are going to be part one, and the cello is going to be part two, but we're playing the round together. And the introduction is in that amazing bass sound.
Ms. Clemens is now going to introduce the next piece for a very small ensemble. Hi everybody, I have had the pleasure of working with, uh, in addition to everybody you see on the stage, um, a small group of students who are a little bit more experienced and we prepared an extra song for this concert. It's called Bach Musette. over to Ms. Garrett. Uh, very quickly, I wanted you, um, and I think you can tell, one of the things we work on, of course we learn, we learn how to play our instruments technically and musically as beautifully as we can, but the other thing we're learning is what I sometimes call unity. Of course, what that means is about being together following a leader, working together as one. It's a wonderful skill for all of life to be able to come together this way. I'm sure you've noticed how precise they are and how focused, and, and I'm very proud of them on every level. Here we go, we're going to play a piece called Can Can.
just another solo by Elise. Thank you.